what is up everybody we're back with another video this time it's a very different video we got we're talking about the best character from each class and you know i i got my notes ready um obviously this is a voiceover a little bit different you know what i'm saying but uh you could watch this gameplay it was kind of crazy especially towards the end you know what i'm saying i'm missing right now but i'm telling you it gets crazier um anyways we're gonna talk about which characters that i think is the best from each class um let me know down in the comments below if you agree, disagree, what you think, what you think, you know, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, before we get into the video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out my Life is Strange 2 back there, bro. We're going crazy on that junk, bro. Go check that the freak out. With that being said, let's get into let's get into the first character. We obviously got Rapid Technical Strike Assault and Support. Now, um, my favorite class is probably Strike. But we're gonna we're gonna save strike for last because I feel like that's probably gonna be the most controversial take in this in this in this list. Um, starting off, we might as well start off with rapid. We got Froppy. I think that Froppy is the best rapid. Um, she has the movement. She has good damage. Uh, her special action really carries. is really good. One of the best special actions in the game. Um, yeah, I feel like. Rapids in general are kind of weaker right now. Like I wouldn't say there's too many strong rapids. Um, well, Bakugo, he's strong, but you gotta be, you know, you gotta be having some skill to play as him. Now, so not, I know some people may be saying twice right now. You know, what twice is a much stronger rapid, which I would agree with you last season, but I don't know. It's been recently. It seems like I don't know. His clones have been a lot dumber, or they don't hit me for nearly as much. You know what I'm saying? They don't be, they don't melt my health like they used to. And it's like I don't know what they did with twice. Uh, his gamma still does, you know, latch on you or whatever, but it doesn't feel as strong. So. Yeah, I feel like I gotta give it to Froppy, cause I feel like she hit, she hits me harder than he does. Not to mention her versatility on the freaking team, you know, her movement and all that. So, you know, and her uh, special action specifically, I gotta give it to freaking Froppy. Um, let me know what you think about that. Do you agree? Disagree? Who you think is the best? You know, my favorite is obviously Rapid Bakugo. I think he's just a freaking goat. But um, yeah, we're gonna leave that there. Um, next, we're gonna do support now. Since the overhaul came out, you know what I'm saying? He just recently came out. I feel like I can't really talk too much on him since he's so since he's so new. I feel like, you know, maybe we got to give it some time to, like, discover weaknesses, even more strengths to kind of, like, properly put him in a spot. So I'm not, I'm, I'm going to leave him out of this when it comes to the supports. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but with that being said, I think that Cementos is the best support. Um, we have four support characters, Cementos, Ibra, Mr. Compress, and now Overhaul. Uh, now I was I was thinking Ibra at first, but the one thing that's kind of separated uh, me, making me not pick Ibra, is because her lack of um her lack of like all well all not really a lack, but all of her moves are pretty stationary, and it, that could leave you open to get hit. You know I don't know how many times I can tell you I've hit or just beat up some freaking Ibras because they were stationary with their moves, especially when they're grabbing you. Right? And oh, and this is a team freaking game, bro. And, and now one on one situations that's fine. But when you got a whole team and you're going against the whole team, bro, and they're aiming at you, you just got a strike deck who's just shooting you from the freaking side and a Dobby ready to freaking grab you up, it's a struggle. So Mentos, on the other hand, he got the same special action, which I do think is better than Ibra's by a tiny bit. You know, it kind of covers you and all that, which is very freaking cool. Um, that, 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 that special action comes in clutch a lot of the freaking time. Yeah, so Mentos, he is just good. He's just overall good. He doesn't have, you know, like get away movement per se, but his movement does greatly help him when it comes to fighting specifically. Um, I feel like you can just constantly spam your moves and all that. And like when you when you're when you master some Mentos, bro, he could genuinely be one of the best in the freaking game. No joke. He could genuinely counter almost anybody and beat up like anybody. <laughs> Which well, I'm not surprised they they have I don't think they ever nerfed or buffed Cementos. Like they I think they've just been leaving him alone for like the longest time. But I'm not really surprised. You know, you hit him with that gamma into the alpha combo, does a lot of freaking damage, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't really have a lot of health. But he does make up for that, like I'm saying, with his, you know, battle movement. He can easily just not get hit, you know, if you're if you're if you're using him correctly. You know what I'm saying? You gotta use him right. Um, you can't just go in there and just think you're just about to go crazy. But um, yeah, that's why we got Cementos as the best support. Let me know once again if you agree or disagree. I could now Mr. Compress, I feel like, you know, when he gets his trucks or whatever kind of downplays it. Like, I don't know. I feel like 
now he's a, he's strong, but I feel like um I feel like Cementos has like kind of what he has, but not besides like the damage. But I feel like he has more overall. You know what I'm saying? And Mr. Compress, that's why I would kind of put uh, Cementos over Mr. Compress. And once again, overhaul, we're not even going to take him into account because, you know, he's really new. So we got to kind of see how everything plays out with uh, that. So let me know what y'all think. All right. Next up, we're going to go to the technical characters. Um, We got what we got. We got Dobby. You see me playing Dobby right now going crazy. We got Dobby. We got All for One. We got Aizawa. And I'm pretty sure we have Toga now. Currently, I think the best technical character is none other than Toga. I think she's just crazy right now. Um, she's been crazy. I think she got nerfed, though, which I can I can honestly feel it. I can feel the nerf. You know what I'm saying? She's not as strong as she once was, but even so, I do think she's still the best. Now, I can see arguments for, like, I um, all for one as well, um, but I feel like Toga with just her going crazy with those beta, with that, with that beta, and don't sleep on her knife or her gamma either, her alpha or her gamma either. Her gamma... It tracks on you so easily, and you can really get a, another movement character, you, and you combine, you know, Froppy's movement or whatever movement with her beta, to Toga's beta, beta, and you're out of there, bro. You got some, you got some really clean freaking movement to get out of any situation almost. Um, her gamma also does a lot of damage, and don't sleep on her knives, her alpha. Once you get it past four and up, bro. If you got decent aim, you know, even see we got aim assist too, so that plays into part too. You could just freaking shred health in the in the um what's what's it called? The recovery time on those knives, bro, they feel instant. They feel freaking instant. It's like it just keeps it just keeps coming, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I can I can see, you know, um I can see ideas for like all for one, maybe even Aizawa, you know, Aizawa being a good freaking team player, you know, role player, whatever, his whole like importance to the team can just you know and how he pretty much works with any team comp, you know, it's just fire. All for one as well. You can get movement with him, the damage, you know what I'm saying? Gamma into beta into alpha combo. It's all it's all fire, bro. Technical is a bit it's a bit harder for me currently because of Toga's nerf. But I, I feel like I still gotta give it to Toga. Um I still do think she's better than, you know, the other technicals. Uh with that being said, let's move on to assault class. Now, I was actually debating this. Um with myself before I was making this list. I'm like, who do I think is the freaking best in the assault class? And I gotta say, I think it's All Might. Now, I know some people be saying Shigaraki, but like, I don't know what happened. Did I think they nerfed Shigaraki. And ever since then, I don't get beat by him nearly as much, nor do I find him as scared, nearly as scary as I used to, bro. Like, you come across an assault Shigaraki, it's like, okay, fine. You know, last season or whatever, like, when he came out, around the time he came out, it was like, okay, that's scary. But now, eh, you know what I'm saying? Nah, eh. His damage, I feel like All Might has what he has, but better and more. Because he also has, like, the special action. And I feel like he does have better movement, especially when you combine the special action with the beta. You know what I'm saying? Gamma being, like, a move you can't get hit with. And he got the alpha crazy damage and not not to mention splash damage so even if you miss you can still hit them because of that splash damage so it's like you know what i mean and then not to mention i'm pretty sure they have this around the same health i think so you know what i'm saying so i gotta give it to all might being more versatile i think he has more damage and he has more movement i gotta give it to all might um you know deku he's <laughs> struggling uh mount lady mount lady when she hits you with that combo it is a it is a rough freaking time um but yeah, I feel like I gotta give it to those guys. I don't know who the I don't know. I feel like I'm missing like Kendo. Kendo. Kendo is very important to the team. She can be very cool to the team, but I just don't feel right giving it to her. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Strike. Final is strike. Uh, and honestly, I'm giving it to Deku. Now here, I know people be getting bodied by Dobby. I understand. I understand. But Dude, Strike Deku, he has everything. You can't, like, bro, he has everything. He has projectiles. Not to mention his projectiles can hit people from, like, on buildings and stuff, which Dobby's cannot. Now, I know y'all saying, you know, Dobby's tracking his beta. That's really all you need. But, bro, it's getting easier to dodge. I don't know about y'all, but I've been getting a little bit easier to, you know, a little bit, you know, learning the timing of when to dodge it and stuff. But with, with, with Deku's beta, for example, it's... It's hard to dodge because it's like a surface area. It's a whole circle. So even if you dodge it, you're still prone to getting hit. And not to mention, you know, the gamma. Deku's gamma. Very good versatility. You can use the block doors, hit people, movement, all that, bro. Um, Dobby's beta. I mean, gamma is also very freaking good. But 
you know. And what's really putting me up there with this is also uh, Deku's special action. That that's but you know when you can bring back teammates, I feel like that's just generally one of the best freaking special actions in the game. So I gotta give it to Strike Deku. Now it's not really, it's not even like a, it's not like extremely far off. This is very close with Strike Deku and Dobby, but um, yeah. I, I could see I could see either or maybe you know one day I'll be feeling Dobby if I just end up getting bodied by a freaking Dobby you know because <laughs> I've been I've been kind of chilling when it comes to Dobbies recently a little bit more but um yeah let me know what y'all think best best support we got Cementos best assault we got all my best technical we got Toba Toga <laughs> Toba <laughs> best rapid we got Froppy and then best strike character we got Deku uh, let me know y'all this down below. I'm going to get on up out of here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Subscribe today to join the Shinobi family. With that being said, peace. Leg it.